Good morning, everyone. We are happy to introduce CareCam today. I'm Taysir, this is Mei Shane, Jun Ying, and then Lu Su. During this project, we had been privileged to uh, be, be sponsored with, um, by Asta Roseway from Microsoft Research. And let me start by showing you a video about our project. Autism spectrum disorder mm -hmm. has several main uh, features. Yeah. One of them is uh, repetitive behavior. Mm -hmm. It could be flapping of the hands, mm -hmm. it could be turning off the pens, mm -hmm. or hitting their head against the wall. Some behaviors could not be observed, and the parents mm -hmm. have to bring that to the therapist, and that could be a challenge. Many times, they are trying to put off the fire, so to speak. So they don't have time to write that down. Mm -hmm. Many people um, will remember things that may be uh, very emotional, but forget about uh, what happened immediately before that emotional event or right after that uh, event. They, they lost those information and those information could be very important. Autism spectrum disorder, or what is also known as ASD, is a set of is a set of developmental disabilities that cause significant social, communicational, and behavioral challenges. The Centers of Disease Control estimates that one in 68 children is identified with autism, according to Dr. Kwan, which is who is a, ther a therapist and a psychological expert. She, uh, children with, with autism spectrum disorder exhibit a common set of characteristics that makes them more susceptible to danger. That is why parents need to learn if, how to effectively respond to their children's behaviors. Our target users are parents of children who are four to 10 years old and who, who are facing problem expressing their, uh, their um, needs verbally. So in order for parents to proactively respond to their children's behaviors and avoid the triggers of, the, of, their, of their children, of uh, that, uh, the triggers of those behaviors, they need to seamlessly record, track, and analyze, share those behaviors. Because parents need to engage with their children when behaviors are happening, current behavior trackers are disruptive to, to, to that um, interaction. So they are not really doing a good job in that aspect. For example, a parent of a child with ASD said, who, who used one of those behavioral trackers for a while said that he just, just kept forgetting to use the app, and he ended up not using the app because he felt that that app requires parents to be disciplined. And now I would like to leave you with Mission, who will talk more about our competitors. After, after we find our opportunity, we conducted a competitive analysis. 
and we found that most of our competitive products are mobile apps. The mobile apps, um, such as Autism Tracker, it asks parents to record behavior in the moment. But this is not feasible because parents' first reaction is to intervene in child's behavior when the observed behavior happens. And uh, uh, mobile apps, such as Behavior Track Pro and Tectron, they ask parents to record behavior afterwards. But this will lead to a loss of valuable information and details. In terms of the process of encoding data, the apps such as Autism Tracker and Behavior Track Pro, they cannot provide a very simple process for parents to record. And basically, all of these um, product, product, uh, competitive products cannot provide a seamless way for parents to, uh, uh, to, par for parents to record, analyze, and share the behavior data of the child. Let me introduce our product. Our product is a mini variable camera and a mobile apps. The mini, the mini, uh, the mini camera is, for, is to capture the behavior of the child by audio and video. The mobile apps is for parents to analyze, annotate the behavioral data recorded by this camera. Before we arrived at our final design, we went through a user-centered design process. In the discovery phase, we conducted expert interview, parents interview, and secondary research. In the ideation stage, we brainstormed different concepts, scenarios, and user journey. At the prototype stage, we prototyped through wireframe, extra, and Arduino. And finally, we evaluated our idea by observation, usability testing, and diary study. And next, let me introduce our user journey. After the, phrase, after the ideation phase of our design process, we developed the, the user journey. Our wearable device can help the parents capture the, the, uh, the behavior moments. And then they have the option to input more data. Our system can help the parents analyze the, the behavior data, and they have the option to share the data analysis with others including therapists, teachers, and other family members. So after this process, they will um, better understand their children's behavior pattern and they can better take care of their children. How does it work? So when a behavior happens, the parent can simply press a button to record what is going on. Every behavior has a, uh, has a trigger. But the parents may not know what the trigger is until they see the behaviors. So our system, our variable device can keep recording the audio and the picture data. When a behavior happens and the parent presses the save button, our system can save the previous audio and picture data and start to record the uh, video data afterwards. So you can see the audio and picture data are about the trigger, and the video data are about the behavior and the intervention. With, our, with the continuous recording, the parents can, um, can get more data and uh, get insights about trigger, behavior, and intervention. So let uh, uh, Liu Su to introduce more. Once the data has been successfully uploaded to our secured, provide cloud, parents can annotate the video at their convenience. They can review the event, annotate the video with uh, default and, or uh, customizable text for behavior types, triggers, and intervention, and also uh, behavior severity and duration, all with a few clicks. We then provide simple, fast input for adding any attempted interventions and rating their success. This allows seamless and intuitive data capturing in, uh, in the moment using a small wearable camera with a single press of a button and let parents postpone adding more in, uh, important information using the app when it is more convenient. With providing a video as a reminder of the event, Parents do not forget about important details.
we offer a set of um, simple analysis tools for parents to better understand and extract meaning from the data they record. They can view and compare behavioral trends over time, examine the severity and duration of a certain event, and drill down to finer levels of detail, making it easy to get an overview of their children's symptoms at a glance, or go deeper if they would like to discuss unusual patterns with caregivers. By mapping trigger and behavior combinations, and assessing their responses to the behaviors. Parents are able to find their relationships and patterns so that they can make adjustments to diminish the triggers and proactively respond to the behaviors. The sharing feature allows parents to send uh, conscious facts to uh, therapists and school teachers. It will improve communications between them so that, so that they can better understand the children's conditions. With CareCam, parents have a better set of tools which, uh, with which to uh, observe, understand, and discuss their children's behaviors. Equipped with higher quality of information, which covers more of their children's contextual behavior history, parents of children with autism spectrum disorder can take the initiative in helping therapists, teachers, caregivers, and each other better understand and care for their loved ones. Thank you for your attention, and we are open to any questions.